passenger ferries could be set to run between Florida and Cuba for the first time in more than 50 years after the U.S. government approved new services. Services between the two countries stopped when the U.S. imposed a trade embargo on Cuba in 1960. But Washington announced the restoration of diplomatic ties in December last year. The U.S. government has now lifted the ban and a number of ferry companies say they have been given licenses. New Era The BBC's Will Grant in Havana says the latest announcement does not necessarily mean that boats will start launching for Cuban shores straight away as there are bureaucratic hurdles to overcome in both countries. However, it is another indication of Washington's desire to put the policies of isolating Cuba in the past and begin a new era of cooperation, he says. President of the Miami-based United America's Shipping Services Joseph Hinson called the move a great step forward. He said that if all goes smoothly we could have things up and running by September. Havana Ferry Partners of Fort Lauderdale, Florida said it also had a license. This is a historical event. Thanks to President Barack Obama, to whom we are very grateful, for his leadership, the firm wrote on its Facebook page. Cargo Ferries will also be allowed to transport cargo to Cuba, which sits 150 kilometers, 90 miles, from southern Florida. A new charter flight service from New York City, operated by JetBlue, had already been announced. The service was agreed during a recent trade delegation of New York-based companies to Cuba, led by State Governor Andrew Cuomo. Despite the new flights and ferry services, a travel ban on Cuba is still in place for U.S. citizens. Only those who have the right paperwork in 12 different categories are permitted to visit the island.